Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great morning, great afternoon, great evening, great midday, whatever time you're finding time to check in and um, have a look at this training series. What we're going to talk about today is how to actually log into your domain based email using a secure server. So, welcome again. My name is Martina Britt Yelverton, founder of Family First Designs, the branding um, gifted passionist behind. Um, my own home based business company doing graphic and web designs branding specialty you know kind of branching out into doing more branding with myself so be on the lookout for Martina Brick Yelverton a brand new company um, to be on the rise kind of taking some of the pressure off of Family First Designs and maybe even allowing Family First to get back to it's original, you know, desire to work strictly with ministries. We kind of branched out from that, which is great for growth, but I kind of want to take that kind of back to where its original start was and then continue to grow the Martina Britt Yelverton brand in the mindset of having people understand the necessity in branding themselves as, of course, the face of their business endeavor. So, what we're going to talk about today is going to be, like I say, how to log into your domain based email secure server. So, um, if you have a chance, of course, go and follow me on my multiple platforms. Here is one on Facebook Live, which is where this will initially feature. And then, of course, if you have a chance to hop over to what people currently uh, fluctuate to Family First Designs, you will know that notice that it is relaunching soon. Um, in the meantime, of course, you can grab the 30 day, 30 ways to self improvement journal. Again, like I say, follow me on my multiple platforms YouTube, Google Plus, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, um, what else? Periscope, several other platforms so that you can uh, remain connected and definitely be contacted when new information comes out. If you'd like to find a little bit more out about me and where this endeavor started, you are available to go over to martinabrickyelverton.com, have a look at the information about my story, and definitely take some time to see what other um, areas that I am in. Uh, if you are in need of a domain, definitely hop over to domains.familyfirstdesigns.com. Purchase your domain here. When you purchase your domain here, the beautiful thing is you uh, get email with it. And that is what we're going to discuss today. How to literally log into your domain-based email. So, we're going to use info at toeducateyou.com this morning. You would literally type in either email dot secure server dot net which will bring you here or login dot secure server dot net here is that address right here secure server and it's going to take you from um, your regular and I'll do it again so that you can see it let's see here email see how that green went away and this is what your normal email I mean excuse me your normal address bar would look like as soon as you hit that to go in it takes you over to a secure server that's what this little s right here is letting you know that you are in a secure arena to be able to check your email so we're going to log in to this particular email address I'm using my info at to educate you dot com email and then you're logged in okay so this is what the standard workspace would look like I prefer the updated view uh, over here so let's see if we can click over to go over to the updated view I just like the format in the way that it looks better because you have a larger window for me and my preference to be able to look at some some things over here so let's say if I were trying to check email I would click on the email over here and then see I just I just feel I have a much larger window here to populate and look at some of the things that I'm trying to look at and that's actually why I like it so there's that information there how to log in and check your email and then of course right across here is how to do your replies your forwards your trash um, and then of course creating folders very simply you would come over here to the left create a new folder we're gonna call this one um, my econ your folder shows up so let me show you that one more time say we needed to create a new one so let's create a new one and let's call this one ID 
Defender, and we're going to enter, and then voila, it shows over here. So one of the great things about this is that if you needed to search in your email, you would be able to say, let's look for all my My Econ email. Boom, there's all the My Econ email. You can go here, select all, and then drag and place all that My Econ email right there inside that folder. So when you go back to your inbox now, it's going to be less that information. Let me show you that again. Say I'm going to do ID Defender, and I want to see only my ID Defender. I'm going to select all of that, and I'm going to drag and place it in the ID Defender box. Go back and check, and now my email is less that. Say I want it to now go and do my simple voicemail. Simple voice. We'll just do that. I think I'd rather have it together so maybe it will get all of that. There we go. We're going to select all. And because I hadn't created a folder, let's go and create a folder. New folder. simple voice box say enter it shows up and now I can drag and put it there if you're not a fan of dragging then this is how you can do that let's go over here and let's say MailChimp okay we only want to see that which is MailChimp once we click it you can go up here and you can say move to and if you don't have the folder created at, created yet then you are available to create the folder okay just like we did before MailChimp the folder is now there go back up and click on your move to and then you're clicking on MailChimp and it's placed there go back and check your inbox and now that's no longer over there okay so it's very simple to select the mail that you are trying to delete possibly and delete it in that fashion and again you are available to simply check your mail by selecting it and then your mail shows up here in the right panel there are different formats that you can utilize by clicking the layout button and then that will allow you to select a layout that best suits your desire okay one of the things that's very important is creating a signature so if you click on the little gear button here and you select more settings you're going to get options going across here that allow you to insert and do certain things. Of course, you want to set your time zone. I'm on the Eastern Standard Time Zone. Go down a little bit more. Where did it go? Did I pass it, guys? I'm that fast. I passed it. Sure did. There we go. Okay. And then, of course, you may want to also automatically add a signature. Now, I prefer to call mine e-signatures, email e-signatures. You want to make sure that an individual knows how to get in contact with you. You can literally hand type an email. Let's say. And then you can follow it up with um, your specific contact information, your email address, your um, telephone number, your mobile number, um, any of your social media stats, however you like to list to be contacted. I have a standard signature that I use that I'm going to insert right here and basically let's reformat so that all of the font family is the same. I'm just going to select to highlight it and then go in and select a standard Arial font family so that it all looks to be the same size. Let's see if we can get this to act correctly. There you go. Don't know if I want it that big. The 10 seems to be fine. And there you have it. You want to save it so that anytime you go in to compose an email, your e signature is automatically inserted. Okay? So, again, that's some information on how you are available to. Let's see if I can get that back to that window. There you go. How you are available to log into your domain based email 
and then navigate around, create folders, create an e-signature, change your time zone. There's a lot of features that are in there that you can walk through, you know, doing your own personal time. But the most important thing is utilizing your domain-based email. What I can also do is reference one other thing really quickly before I let you go. Let's see if I can find that because I know it's of great importance. If you go over to my platform that is located on YouTube and uh, you go into the Family First Designs folder, here is one of the uh, free tutorials on a <clears throat> seven tips to set your domain based email up for success that is quite urgently important in explain to, explaining to you why you should stop giving Yahoo Hotmail AOL Gmail all of these the advertisement and learn to utilize your own domain based email and how it can help boost your notifications and locations on Google so again my name is Martina Britt Yelverton I am an online professional um, entrepreneur a branding specialist a graphic and a web specialist um, just so many things that I have been blessed to be able to uh, do online from the comfort of my home allowing people to really get out there and start their businesses putting their mind at rest because I'm available to help them with taking their vision from inside their own minds and putting it out here on the web definitely contact me and connect with me on my multiple platforms to your success God bless.